This question is for men and men only, okay? Do you think that we care? Do you think that we care? Let me preface, let me just back up a little bit. I am a woman who has a job that pays my rent and my bills and the food that goes on my plate. I do my own laundry, I make my own bed, I read books, I go to the gym, I have hobbies, I have a life. I have a dog that I take care of and I love so much. I have a life, okay? I have my sh figured out. I'm independent as f and I've, I've got it under control. So do you think that we care? Oh, my parents have a house in this place and this place and I get to take the PJ wherever I wanna go. And you know, I have a job that makes over six figures a year and you know, my American Express card, I can go to Cipriani's whenever I want. Do you think that we care? Because we do. They know you do. The more important question is whether you believe they care. You have a dog and live on your own. Do you really think they care that you do these things? They may care more about the dog than you, but you still have a job like everyone else. You can pay your bills with it. Do you think they care? I'll even answer that for you to help. You care. They don't. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see Woman destroys her own marriage and cries on the internet when her man finds another woman. Allow us to begin right away. You're getting a divorce. Mrs. Rivera, I will say this to you. You're foolish. You had a good thing. As soon as it wasn't a perfect thing, it made you angry. Nobody's ever going to be perfect. You most certainly are not perfect. And the next guy you get is not going to be perfect. And unless you're willing to put up with a little bit of, you know, they say for better or for worse for a reason. It's not going to be all you know, lollipops and sunshine. And when it's not lollipops and sunshine for your husband, you at least give him a lollipop. You might not be able to make the sun shine, but you can give them a lollipop, and you didn't do it. You decided that your marriage was about you, for you, and because of you, and when he hit a rough patch, you were like, I'm sick of you. I'm tired of it. You're not a king and wonderful anymore because you're not doing everything I want to. You're no longer Mr. Perfect, and I have no obligation to give anything to you. That's tired, and that's sad, and he's a good dude. Mr. Rivera, you were, you were cold. Until you got on that motorcycle and rolled off like you didn't have a kid. At no point in time do you get to do that. I, you know, as a mother, she can't just, well, I'm not going to work now, so my kid's not going to have anything to eat. You didn't have a right to do that. So, you know, take care of your kids. Be a better person. The judge gave a smart speech in which she beautifully explained the rights of modern women to get a divorce and the effects that such marriages have on the children they have. She agreed that women should have the power and freedom to make their own decisions. But she warned against ignoring the mental health of both children and partners. The judge's wise words went into detail about how complicated modern marriages are and pointed out what he thought was agreed in modern women. She noticed that some people put their own happiness above all else and didn't seem to care about how their children or partners felt. Their focus on their own wants often takes precedence over worries for the family as a whole. I feel like way too many people share this opinion that what I do for a living isn't a real job. I'll clear a few things up for you, like for those who don't really understand. Number one, I, yes, I do lay there when I'm on TV, on Babe Station, taking phone calls, but I don't rely on that for my income. Um, the main part of my income comes from as many tips as I can per shift and as many privates, so, but by the end of my shift, I've actually made enough money that I'm proud of. Do you know what I mean? I'm taking a large, large amount of money home with me. So just laying there taking phone calls is not going to do it. I also run two websites with thousands of fans combined that run 24-7, 365. I can't take, I can't take like a few days or a week. I can't have a holiday from. Because if I take a holiday from that, my fan count is going to go down and I'm going to lose money. Yeah, well, pretty much anyway. She has two accounts, which is what she means when she says she runs two sites. One says it's free, and the other says it's for VIPs and costs $346 a month or something. For $346 a month, you're not really a VIP. What? What do I know? I might be wrong, so please tell me I'm wrong in the comments. But I think you can give a job a name. You, princess. You could try businesswoman, but that would be a little dishonest, right? 
about not working harder to save her marriage now that her ex-husband is happily remarried. The 41-year-old woman shared to the True Off My Chest subreddit that she left her husband around 10 years ago, shortly after they'd had their first child together. According to this woman, there were no major issues in the marriage. She was a stay-at-home mom and had her husband wrapped around her finger. He did whatever she said and she burnt him out. When he grew tired of her demands, she started threatening divorce. She thought she was still a great catch and that she could do better than her husband, so she she left. She ended up getting joint custody of her son and the house after the divorce. Now, 10 years later, the ex-husband is happily remarried with a baby daughter and a new house. The divorced woman, on the other hand, has been unmarried ever since. She's jealous of her ex-husband's new wife, saying, she took my husband, she took my kid, she took my life that was once mine, and now I live in an empty house. She claims she is alone and miserable and wishes she would have been a better wife 10 years ago so she wouldn't be in this situation. As you can probably imagine, not many people were very sympathetic towards this woman. You got what you deserved and he got what he deserved, one redditor commented. Others noted that the new wife didn't take anything from her with one saying, you gave it away. This woman's story may end in bitterness and guilt, but that's not the case for most divorcees. According to research derived from family law attorneys, 80% of divorcees end up remarried. While divorce is a valid option in many situations, it's not always the solution. It takes two to make things work, and many people believe this woman reaped what she sowed. In today's world, women have made their own ways and found places to be alone and private. This freedom applies to their relationships. They don't need their husband's approval or advice all the time. Instead, modern women put their own independence and freedom first. But this increased freedom can sometimes cause marriages to end because women choose to value their own freedom more than their marriage. For some women, being free is a terrible pill to swallow. They find it hard to accept that their ex-husband is happy that they are living on their own again. They feel jealous all the time, and they might blame other women for the problems in their home lives. People often make these claims because they are afraid or don't want to accept that women's roles and wants are changing. There has been a rise in divorce rates among Western women at the same time that feminism and the Me Too movement have taken off. At first, a lot of people find comfort and strength in their increased freedom. But over time, loneliness and isolation can set in, which can cause panic attacks and anxiety. Even though it can feel freeing at first, many women find that the search for independence can also bring unexpected problems. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think I'm going to need to divorce my husband. His lack of awareness has just gotten too overwhelming and I just don't think I can do this anymore. He's had some complications, so we were at the hospital and the doctors could not figure out his blood type. And it was so stressful. And then in the middle of all that, he just goes, be positive. And I'm like, babe, great advice, but we still don't know what your blood type is. Like, read the room. Last week, my cell phone rings and he's by the phone, so he picks it up. He hands it to me and he says, hey, it's your dad. And I'm like, no, babe, it's a cell phone. We were at a restaurant and in front of the freaking waiter, Sorry. In front of the freaking waiter, my husband goes, Hey, I see you have an empty water glass. Would you like another? Why would I want two empty water glasses? No, I've had enough. I've had enough. Wow, it sounds like you found a real gem. Who wouldn't want a partner who gets life threatening medical advice mixed up with inspiring quotes? You must find his clever mix ups as exciting as a show. And what about the cell phone thing? Really smart. Because it's clear that no one has ever thought a cell phone was a home before. In the case of the restaurant mess, it's too much to expect him to be decent when he's so busy being a comedy master. I totally get why you're thinking about getting a divorce. This level of constant laughter and complete ignorance must be exhausting. I don't know how to explain it, but the slowest thing a man can do is to not post, better yet, not even have social media. I like, okay, I guess we can have kids, okay? I guess I will be the mother of your children if I must, if I have to, I guess I will. Okay, I'll have your children, Ugh, stop. Stop freaking begging me, goodness. Does that make sense to anyone else though? 
Is that just my own personal opinion or do other people feel this way? How should I say this? You and every other bikini model feel the same way. Men you want won't see what you post if they are on social media. You shouldn't have kids with you, really. They should look at your social media before deciding if they want to have kids with you. Hi, um, my very first video. Uh, my name's Kirsten, I'm 53, and I am in a big mess because I am moving out of my house um, that I've been with my husband for more than 30 years. I'm 53. I know I look 53, but that's what I am. Um, I'm also hugely overweight because I've been miserable for so long that all I do for pleasure is have a glass of wine or have some nice food because I don't have any happiness with my husband. Um, I got an apartment, um, I got a job, um, so I'm going to move into that apartment. Um, it's a one bedroom apartment and I have three daughters, but they're older, so um, they can come and I'll sleep on the couch, but I didn't know what else to do. That's all I can afford where I am. But I did get the apartment um, under my own credit. I cry a lot. I'm going to try not to. But I wonder if there's any women out there like me. At my age, I'm not expecting to be here. But being here, and I'm doing this all by myself. I haven't told um, my husband or my children yet. I don't know how. I think I'm just going to move in slowly. And then I'll have a place to go for when things get bad. This time I went out and I got that apartment and I got a lawyer. Um, and it's just so scary and it just feels like the end of everything I've ever known. I've never lived alone in my life. Well, I did it. Here I am on my new bed, my princess bed. And um, it rained all day yesterday when I moved. I went to bed at six o'clock at night. <laughs> I had a bath in my new bathtub. And you know what? It was hard and I had a breakdown and the movers were watching and felt sorry for me and they were hugging me when they left. She wants me to feel sorry for her. When women leave their homes, they don't have a plan. They just think that everything will be okay because they are the victims and God and society will thank them for getting a divorce. This dream ends though when you realize that she'll be poor and have to pay for everything herself since no one will help her. She makes a big deal out of the fact that she has to live like an adult. This video has more than one part. This is just the first one. But it's clear from the start that she's trying to play the victim. She will definitely blame her husband for everything later because he doesn't always make her happy. Brothers, she has every right to be happy. Click like to let other people know you like this show. You'll know when I add new shots if you click the bell. Thanks for everything you've done. Do something right away. Check out more movies of people running into walls by coming back to this page.